Good morning, my friends. Happy Monday. I hope you guys had a great weekend and enjoyed it. Uh, shout out to Tyler who had a birthday on Saturday. Happy birthday, Tyler. We hope you had a great day. My friends, today I would like to read a story and talk about the setting. A setting is the setting of the story is where the story takes place where it's happening so for example my setting right now is my room that is where i am right now and i'm going to tell you this story in my room which is the setting of this video a lot of us are sharing the same settings right now and that is being at home with our families our setting is our bedrooms our kitchens our living rooms and we're working and playing and learning and growing in the same setting uh, school is not our setting anymore because school has been closed for a little while. But today, the setting that I want to talk about is the one in a new story, Never Play Music, right next to the zoo. Are you ready? It's by John Lithgow. That is the author of the story. Never Play Music, right next to the zoo. Ready? I went to a concert. When I was a lad, no older than many of you, I sat with my sister, my mother, my dad, at the band shell right next to the zoo. The soft summer air was so balmy and sweet, and the program was running so long that I found myself falling asleep in my seat, despite all the music and song. All at once, the conductor erupted in rage. A band of wild animals were storming the stage. Oh, children, remember, whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. The lions and the elephants, the bears and the raccoons will steal away the trumpets, the flutes and bassoons, all different instruments those animals are taking. Replace the musicians and chase them away. Then they'll sit in the band shell and play. The monkeys played fiddle, the bison played bass. The percussions were manned by the camel. The yak played the sax until red in the face, a surprisingly musical mammal. The bonobo played oboe, the ferret the flute, the jackal attacked the bassoon. The hippo had chosen the tuba to toot by the light of the silvery moon. Siberian tigers, Mongolian goats, a super abundance of bestial notes. As the animal orchestra filled up the air with chaos, confusion, and clutter, the audience calmly continued to stare as if nothing at all was the matter. I trembled with fear, suppressing a scream while my parents just sat there enraptured. Oh, how I wished it was only a dream and those creatures all safely recaptured. But since, by the minute, I'd grown less afraid, I decided to sit back and watch while they played. You hear my animals in the background? <laughs> Look, all the animals playing the instruments. This is the concert show. They finished and each put their instruments down 
then bowed and descended the stage. Each shed his tuxedo or evening gown and hurried back home to their cage. Then each reminisced, so grateful and glad, so full of contentment and pride. My mother, meanwhile, strolled away with my dad, but my sister remained by my side. She tugged on my sweater and spoke in my ear, you better wake up or we're leaving you here. All children remember, whatever you do, never play music right next to the zoo. They'll burst from their cages, each beast and each bird, desperate to play all the music they've heard. No, never play music right next to the zoo and pay strict attention to rule number two. Bear in its mind for the rest of your days don't fall asleep when the orchestra plays the end. So my friends, the setting of this story is not the zoo. There's something that is right outside of the zoo where they play music. It's called a concert shell. If you see in this picture, you see the animals are sitting. It almost looks like a rainbow. It's like the shape of the rainbow. It's called a concert shell, and that's where people sit to play instruments for a concert. That is the setting of the story. It's a concert shell right next to the zoo. I hope you enjoyed this story. It was a new one. I'll read a new story later on this week. I hope you like this one. It was new. And um, talk about different instruments and music, my friends. Have fun. If you have any instruments at home, um, play them, sing a song enjoy. Have a great day, my friends. Okay. Bye.